I remember the All Foot in Town logo at the time, it wasn't really doing the club any favours. So the more we looked at the logo that was used, it was a very complicated, old-fashioned uh, affair. It had a lot of unnecessary design elements. It wasn't great for merchandising opportunities. A lot of people didn't know what or who the logo represented because it didn't say the club's name within the design of the logo. And we knew that what we needed to do was to change it, otherwise we'd be con condemned to the past. So when you design a logo for a football club, it's vital that you know every single thing about the football club, but you also know everything about the place that that football club represents. Chris Payne went away and um, first he did his homework, uh, checked into history, looked at the links and came up with the very strong links towards King Alfred. And so legend has it that the town of Alfreton is named after King Alfred the Great, the former King of England. So then I go away and I do a load of research on the football club and I found out that one of the original logos of Old Putton Town Football Club featured a king within the design of the logo. The football club was recommenced in 1959 and when it did, it actually uh, came about with a logo that bore the crest of uh, King Alfred. So then I'm thinking, this is great. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could bring back this king as the centrepiece of the modern day logo so it would respect the legend of the town, but it would also respect the history of the football club. Designing the logo was amazing. It always starts off with a piece of paper and a pencil. Drawing lots of shapes on the piece of paper, looking at different hierarchies, looking at how different shapes interact with each other. Can I bring elements from the 1959 logo into this modern day logo? And then I move on to the computer, looking at different stroke weights. How will the king look? King Alfred, how can I capture his facial expressions? I then look at typography. The words Alfred and Town Football Club, where will it go? What will it look like? Experiment with different colors for the logo. Should it be one color? Should it be multiple colors? Then proposals to the football club, explaining the design. What we landed on was a logo which was unique, it represented the legend of the town, it represented the history of the club, and then we launched the logo. This morning, Alfton Town Football Club have revealed a new club logo. The new logo that's inspired by the club's and town's historic past features a striking imagery of King Alfred the Great. Launch day was an amazing, crazy, amazing day. When we did announce, we utilised social media. It got good radio coverage. And what do you think of the new logo? It's a big improvement on the last one. It makes a really good impression. I do think it's something the fans can identify with. It picked up uh, national press as well as local press. I remember checking social media every five minutes to see what the fans were saying about the new logo. They were loving it straight away. I remember all the comments were really enthusiastic about this new direction for the football club. Just after the launch of the logo, the club was really smart. They released a series of new merchandising, which obviously featured the new logo. And then they did a really good job of promoting this merchandising on social media. Since we launched the new logo, we found ourselves with an increase in merchandise sales. Uh, they're running at around, around 200%. So this is the kit that Old Foot in Town Football Club released just after the launch of the logo. I remember it was really great when you would see all the fans wearing the kit in and around Alfreton and then obviously when the season started all the players would wear the kit. And so the impact has been huge. The logo was on TV, it was all over the internet, social media, it was on scarves, it was on hats, it was on pins, it was on bags, it was on training gear, match day programs, on coffee mugs, on computer games. So the supporters were seeing an awful lot of their logo for their football club. They embraced it immediately. So they showed great delight uh, and uh, that's reflected in their uh, uh, desires to want to associate with it.